Imagine waking up and getting ready to play video games without worrying about school, because luckily, you're actually in school. Japan's first esports high school opened in 2022, and the results have been nothing short of groundbreaking. Although it was originally intended to attract aspiring professional video game players, the creators behind it believe they may have stumbled onto something even more valuable, and which we'll discuss in a minute. So the question here becomes, can you actually inject fun into otherwise boring activities and effectively make life feel like a game? If you want to know these answers, stick around, because in this video we'll learn what gamification actually is, as we go over some exciting examples of brand experiences that merge everyday life with rewards, play, and fun. Now let's get ready to solve, learn, and play on this episode of Pixie Bolts Gamified. So first things first, let's talk about what gamification actually is. In simple words, gamification is about adding the fun and excitement from games to the sometimes repetitive things we have to do in our everyday lives. Like the coffee we have in the morning, or learning a new language. The whole idea is to make those things more enjoyable and motivating, so we feel they're easier and more fun to do. Gamification often adds different game design elements, such as points, rewards, badges, stamps and leaderboards, to non-game contexts, like business, education, and marketing. So the main goal is always the same, to make you excited and motivated to do or learn things, by helping you feel more like you're playing a game, when you're actually doing them. So an example of gamification would be to tell you that this video has 8 different hidden easter eggs, and that they're scattered across different parts of the video. So now, you've been officially challenged to find them. Or the example of Japan's esports school we talked about earlier, which originally intended to attract future gaming pros, but actually ended up helping gamers finish high school after refusing to attend their normal schools due to experiences like social anxiety and bullying situations. And now, let's talk about what brand experiences are and how the biggest companies in the world are using them to create connections with their customers. Brand experiences are thoughtfully crafted interactions, events, and campaigns designed to immerse and engage customers in a brand's unique identity. Brand experiences tend to go beyond traditional advertising by providing memorable, interactive, and often personalized brand encounters that leave lasting memories and that also create a ripple effect with a wider social media reach, a term also known in marketing as brand buzz. So an example of a gamified brand experience is when a company like Starbucks introduced play and valuable collectibles into their rewards program with the extension called Odyssey. They started this back in 2022 as a way to kick off their Web3 marketing strategy, which aimed at adding elements of fun, challenge and adventure to the way Starbucks customers experience their coffee. So for example, each time Sam buys his coffee or completes a challenge in Starbucks Odyssey, he earns points and digital stamps. After a while, he could use those points and stamps to unlock new experiences like virtual coffee tastings with world-class baristas, limited edition collectibles, or even travel experiences around the world. Brady Brewer, Starbucks chief marketing officer explained the reasoning behind their strategy. Odyssey is our next big innovation in loyalty to recognize, surprise and delight Starbucks rewards members. We are leveraging Web3 technology to reward and connect in new ways, such as offering ownable digital stamps, a new digital community, and opening access to new benefits and immersive experiences, both physically and in the digital world. Another example of gamification is when Marriott, the largest hotel chain in the world, launched their Moxie Universe Play Beyond campaign. This campaign was created by the media monks China, Tokyo, Korea and Singapore teams, and the results were more than impressive. Moxie Universe invited hotel guests to level up their travel experience by exploring the hotel grounds using their smartphones as they completed challenges to earn rewards and prizes. About the essence behind the Moxie Universe strategy, Eric Pang of Media Monks China expressed. This campaign is all about the enjoyment of virtualization. We believe that bringing the virtual excitement to real life is more relevant rather than building an experience exclusively in a game world. So how about using a gamification strategy to promote your own business? But first, let's solve this fun trivia. Which gaming company did a young Steve Jobs work at, back in the 70s, before starting the iconic Apple we know today? Was it Magnavox? Or Atari? If you thought Atari, then you were right. 
Steve Jobs was hired by Atari Corporation as a video game designer in early 1974. But that was until he saved enough money and quit to go on a pilgrimage trip to India. So let's get back to our small business example. Let's say you own a t-shirt business and you ship orders to customers who buy from your online shop. But your sales have been falling for the last three months and you'd like to start a gamified marketing strategy to introduce more excitement and challenge for the customers who already love to engage with your brand and your products. You could achieve this by creating your own rewards program. So let's say for every t-shirt your customers buy from your store, they get one star. And for every three stars, they get one free set of your limited collection stickers, which aren't even normally available in your store, adding a layer of priority and exclusive benefits for your most loyal customers. Eventually, this could help you increase engagement with your brand's community by introducing elements of challenge and reward. And it may also help you build more excitement for your upcoming collections. What do you think about these gamified marketing strategies? Did they make you think of any other exciting ideas? And did you happen to find any Easter eggs? Make sure to share your results in the comments down below. So now let's get ready to play, solve, and learn about more gamification strategies in our next episode of Pixie Bolt's Gamified. Thanks for watching Pixie Bolt, your ultimate destination to level up your business skills, spiced up with a hint of gaming and fun.